Previously on Gospelcast The old school idol worship is something that has deeper implication to creation. Now look at it now. When God made man his image and after his likeness and he blessed them and gave them power to have dominion over everything. Now the devil saw it as an opportunity to have revenge on the eternal pain of hell. And not just doing that, he also reduced man to come to a point where human beings made in the image of God will have to bow down to help less craven images and call them God expecting images to do what God has put in man to do that was the highest level of perversion and it did hurt the heart of God gospel cares continues right after this Okay, I'm so excited to welcome you to brand new gospel cast for today. My name is Ty and I will be your host for today. We're continuing today on our series, The Image. Today we'll be talking about after his likeness. Now, some of us do not understand why it's so terrible for people to worship idols. I mean, especially in the old school way idols because that one looks, you know, ridiculous right now. People bowing down to helpless images and calling them God. It's, 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 it's ridiculous right now. But, but, um, you have to see that even the devil has migrated his uh, uh, ways of oppression, his techniques of making people worship idol. He has made it to something new that we'll talk about tomorrow and next. But look at this right now. When the devil is pulling people down, bringing them low to the lowest level of shame and disgrace, making you to call what you made by your hand God and bow down to worship it. You see, the devil is very, very tricky because what he is doing is that he wants to put you in a situation whereby you yourself, by yourself, will hurt the heart of God. And when you do that, he also puts you in a situation where you abuse the God image in you to the point of disgrace and complete embarrassment and God can never be happy with that because he cannot share his glory with any man one of the reason why we are created is to worship God so if the devil could get us to focus on the things that we should be having dominion over and worship them he has brought us in a situation whereby god cannot take us now because god cannot share his glory with any man and god will now have to allow us to go with the same path with the enemy which is getting to eternal domination so but look at that now for this to happen effectively it has something more to do after the likeness you see because when god created man in his image there is also an aspect that have to do with the likeness just like an animal is born, it has the DNA of the parents inside the body, but it has to look towards the parents, learn from the parents to experience the full capacity of the likeness that is already in the DNA. So that is the way it is with us and God. There is a DNA of God. There is a breath of God in you, but you have to connect to the likeness of God, which comes by fellowship for you to to fully maximize the like the image that is already in you so watch this now the devil cannot achieve this purpose of disconnecting us from God unless he puts us in a situation where we worship things that should be under us. So these days now he's come more sophisticated that he has changed idol worship to, to the, the pleasure of all nations right now. You see the desire of the nations is what he has done idol worship to right now. People are clamoring for things and he's taking the place of God and is occupying people and making them to worship things that were created instead of the creator and why he's doing that is to make sure that we do not connect into the likeness of the father of our creation now it was in the garden of eden god came to them at the cool of the day so that he could show them his likeness to cause them to observe his likeness in the life of jesus the bible wrote about jesus that he was looking up to the father and he said to the people whatever i see my father do likewise i will do so that is the likeness of god do you look
look up to God every single day because the God image in you requires you to connect in fellowship so that the fullness of the likeness will be impacted into you and you will act like God in any situation and any place where you find yourself. So don't fellow vanities don't bow down to idols of the new age because they are all vanities make sure you are connected to god having fellowship and drawing the likeness so that whatever he has in stock for you will be fulfilled here and at god bless you i'll see you tomorrow